Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude out fossil hunting. So today I'm in Fernie, British Columbia, and I'm taking a look along this rock logging road here. Um, a great place to look for fossils if you're ever out in the middle of nowhere is extents that have been cut by logging roads or highways. Um, so I'm on the border of Alberta and British Columbia, and as you can see, there's a lot of dark bands cutting through this rock and those are coal deposits. So along coal deposits, usually you can find various different plant fossils because coal is compressed plant material. So I've actually spotted a few back there, but I'm going to hike around this section and take a look for any bits on the shale. Most of the plants here I believe are like pine, ferns, and whatnot. Let's see, is that something? Kind of looks like something. And uh, it's all jumbled up. A lot of the material is, um, it's not that pretty, but it is still fossils nonetheless. So let's just keep looking around these boulders. Hopefully we'll bump into something. I was just up at the massive Ammonite Titanides, which was further back. Um, so recently this area was like logged. So machines came through, plowed this trail, cut down a lot of trees, and exposed a lot of this rock. And so it's a cool thing to take a look at. That might be some material scattered in there. And I'm just hiking back down to my vehicle. So, sadly might not spot, oh. Oh no, that's just some coal in the rock. Might not spot anything. It's a little black vein of coal. But I can definitely edit in some plant material that I did manage to pick up at the end of the video. Do, do, do. It's really cool that a lot of um, construction that happens out in these locations expose a lot of this rock. I'm actually heading out to um, Cranbrook in a little bit to a Devonian aged site for fossilized coral, crino oh, not, crinoids, yeah, I think there's crinoids there, brachiopods, and just other little marine uh, reef fossils. So it seems like the rock's kind of ending now. We're getting more into a kind of gravelly mixture. Still record a little bit longer because we might bump into a fossil. You never know. There's another site in Cranbrook that I'm hoping to hit. Um, oh! <gasps> Wow, thank goodness I kept recording. That is beautiful. Take a look at that. So it does pay off to look around these areas. So that is a beautiful plant. Amazing preservation, some really nice detail in that. You can see the veins and everything. That is spectacular. I wonder if the counterpart, wow, there's a counterpart. Here, let me just pick that up. Kind of crumbly, that's not good. Absolutely fantastic specimen. There's a the counterpart. Wow, I did not know I would find that. I was definitely not expecting something this beautiful. Like I said, it was definitely mostly um, jumbled up plant material. Like, you can't really tell what it is. Some sticks, some like needles and whatnot. But yeah, this, wow, that is fantastic. Okay. I think this will conclude my video. Um, definitely happy with <laughs> what I found. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.